the art of interlocking joints and flexible frames, techniques passed down through generations. The Japanese team, already masters of wooden architecture, eagerly embraced his hands-on wisdom, blending their traditions with his innovations. On test day, anticipation filled the air as officials and journalists gathered, watching as sensors were carefully placed all over the house. The massive shake table roared to life, simulating the violent force of a devastating earthquake with incredible precision. The house swayed dramatically, beams flexed and groaned, but remarkably nothing broke or splintered. While conventional buildings would have crumbled under such stress, Harold's design seemed to dance with the tremors and survived unscathed. The control room erupted in cheers and applause, a wave of excitement sweeping through the team. Dr. Tanaka bowed deeply in respect. Harold's method had passed the ultimate test, earning admiration from all present. The carpenter's vision, once doubted by many, was now proven and celebrated on the world stage. His flexible frame had redefined what it meant to build for resilience, inspiring a new era in earthquake-resistant design. Harold's journey had come full circle from his modern